Howdy there, folks. Let's rustle up some memories from a classic Western TV series that left a lasting impression on the small screen back in 1959. This show took viewers on a dusty cattle drive with its main character, a young cowboy played by a rising star. Now, before we dive into tales and anecdotes, stick around for a corral full of interesting facts. We've got funny, shocking, and even a few sad tidbits about this old TV gem coming your way. So, keep those eyes peeled. Ever wondered how this series might have influenced your own journey? Share a personal story of how it roped its way into your life. Maybe it sparked your love for westerns or taught you something about determination and grit. And speaking of stories, we're all ears. What's your most treasured memory or personal experience tied to this classic cowboy show? Drop your tales in the comments below because we'd love to hear from you. So, saddle up and let's ride down memory lane together. Though it may have hung up its spurs, the echoes of its significance are still heard far and wide. In the world of classic television westerns, there's one show that truly stands out. It had a unique charm and style that set it apart from others of its time. One notable feature was the extensive use of filming on location, which gave it a cinematic feel uncommon in shows back then. While some scenes shot indoors lacked authenticity, they were a small part of the overall production. This was quite different from similar shows like Bonanza, which often felt confined to indoor sets. The show's hour-long format allowed for in-depth character development and storytelling, which was one of its strengths. With a talented regular cast, and a rotating roster of guest stars from Hollywood's elite. Each episode brought excitement and credibility. Familiar faces like Claude Akins and John Daner frequently made appearances, adding to the show's appeal. But perhaps the most memorable aspect of the show was its theme song, performed by Frankie Lane. His soulful vocals added depth to each episode, creating an unforgettable atmosphere that resonated with viewers. Overall, this show's combination of stunning visuals, compelling storytelling, and star-studded guest appearances made it a standout in the world of television westerns. Its lasting impact continues to capture audiences' attention with its timeless appeal. Imagine stumbling upon an unexpected opportunity that changes your life forever. That's what happened to Clint Eastwood when he caught the eye of a studio executive while visiting a friend at CBS. This led to him landing the role of Rowdy Yates in a TV series set during the historic cattle drives from Missouri to Texas. The show, rooted in the real-life challenges of frontier life, depicted the adventures and hardships faced by cattle drivers. Audiences were drawn to the camaraderie among the characters and the rugged landscapes they traversed. It became hugely popular, leaving a lasting mark on how people viewed life on the frontier and launching Eastwood's career in television. So, a chance encounter led to a big break for Eastwood and a beloved series that showcased the realities of frontier life, all thanks to a fateful visit to a friend. In its eighth season, the main character was removed, leading to a decline in ratings. Clint Eastwood's character then took over, but this change didn't save the show, resulting in its cancellation. Eric Fleming, who portrayed the main character, joked about the decision, implying it was about saving money. However, it's unclear if this was the actual reason. Clint Eastwood, a prominent figure in the series, had a relationship with Roxanne Tunis, an extra and stuntwoman on the show. They had a daughter together, but Eastwood's personal life was complicated as he was married at the time. Eric Fleming, who played a significant role in the series, had his face severely injured while serving in the Navy. Despite this, he continued his acting career, showing remarkable resilience. In the late 1950s, a catchy tune called The Flying Purple People Eater soared to the top of the music charts, sung by Sheb Woolley, who also acted as Scout Pete Nolan on a TV series. Meanwhile, Clint Eastwood, acting alongside George Kennedy, starred in movies like Thunderbolt and Lightfoot and The Iger Sanction. Later in his career, Eastwood continued to portray characters reminiscent of his earlier cowboy roles seen in films like Unforgiven. He often wore the same hat, gun, and boots, which became strongly associated with his characters on screen. In the 1960s, a certain actor began to shine in Europe thanks to some Western movies he starred in. Riding on his growing fame, the producers of a TV series quickly made two episodes into a movie, using extra scenes to boost its appeal. This movie was then released in Italy and West Germany without his permission. However, the actor wasn't pleased and took legal action, leading to the movie being pulled from release. This incident shows the challenges actors face when their old works are reused without their say. Interestingly, a tune from the TV series became popular again when it appeared in a different movie, showing how influential the show was. 
Overall, this actor's journey from TV to big screen stardom, along with the unexpected resurgence of the show's theme, highlights the lasting impact of his career. Clint Eastwood, at 28, started the series, portraying a character much younger at 19. Raymond St. Jock broke barriers as the first black actor in a regular role during 1965-1966, playing cattle drover Simon Blake. The Mexican wrangler's name, Jesus, was a phonetic spelling of Jesus to avoid controversy. Such a move averted potential outrage. He remained a pivotal character in the series. Clint Eastwood's first wife had a close friendship with TV writer Sonia Chernis, which reportedly led to his casting in the series. The boots he wore in Unforgiven are the same ones he wore in the series, and are now in his private collection. In the episode Incident of the Death Dancer, actors Dick York and Barbara Eden portrayed a grifter couple, with Eden performing the dance of the opium den, later reprised in I Dream of Jeannie. These connections underscore Eastwood's journey in the Western genre. In the world of classic television, there's a tale of unexpected turns and memorable characters. One figure, whose star was rising, met a tragic end far too soon, altering the course of the show's history forever. His untimely departure left a lasting mark on those who followed his journey on screen. Alongside him, two supporting characters added depth and charm to the story, enriching the narrative with their distinct personalities. Together, these elements shaped the series into something more than just a TV show from years past. As the story unfolded, he, the rising star, found himself in a distant land, filming a movie. Yet, fate had other plans, and in a heartbreaking twist, he met his end while on set, leaving behind a legacy that transcended his time on screen. His sudden absence cast a shadow over the show, forever altering its trajectory. Amidst the turmoil, there were others who left their mark on the tale. There was Wishbone, a character with a solid presence, whose full name was George Washington Wishbone. Then there was Mushy, known fully as Harkness Mushgrove Roman III, whose endearing nature endeared him to audiences far and wide. Together, they added layers of depth to the story, enriching the experience for viewers. In the end, it was the unexpected twists and the memorable characters that defined the narrative of the show, leaving an enduring legacy that continued to captivate audiences long after its initial broadcast. In a surprising turn of events, one tragic fact about the series revolves around the departure of its original lead, Eric Fleming, after the seventh season. Fleming's abrupt exit deeply affected the dynamics of the show, leaving fans saddened by the unexpected change in the cast. Despite efforts to keep the series running smoothly with a new lead, the absence of Fleming's character significantly altered the show's dynamic and marked a poignant moment in its history. After Eric Fleming's departure, the series faced a considerable challenge in maintaining its momentum and audience engagement without its central figure. Although the show continued for another two seasons with a new lead, the absence of Fleming's character left a lasting impact on the series and its loyal viewers marking a significant shift in its trajectory. During the production of Rawhide, tragedy struck when a stuntman lost his life in a fatal accident on set. The incident occurred during the filming of a particularly intense scene involving a cattle drive. Despite safety precautions, the unexpected mishap left the entire cast and crew devastated, serving as a grim reminder of the risks involved in bringing the series to life. The loss of the stuntman deeply affected everyone involved in Rawhide. It served as a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in the industry and underscored the importance of prioritizing safety measures on set. Despite the somber event, production resumed after a period of mourning with the cast and crew honoring the memory of their fallen colleague by continuing their work with renewed diligence and vigilance.